Hi, welcome back to Melio Guide. I'm Margaret Martin. And today what I want to share with you is the reason that I'm such a strong proponent of exercise when it comes to building bone and building muscle and building a good quality of life. One of the things that often comes up from my clients is, oh, I didn't really ad actually understand how exercise built bone. So I want to explain to you when we make the recommendation of um, aerobic or cardiovascular exercise for bone building and when we make this um, recommendation of strength training why those recommendations are there and how they actually affect bone. So although we still don't know all the intricacies of how it occurs at a cellular level we do know that when we recommend aerobic or cardiovascular one of the recommendations is that there is weight bearing and so if you think of weight bearing either as you step or as I'm landing my hands together as you land your hands together, and if you want to just do that yourself, like a strong clap or pound your foot down on the ground, you'll feel that little vibration going through the bone. And so that vibration is a stimulus that tells your bone, well, you better shape up. You got to, you know, be able to handle the load that's coming at you, you know, every step of the day and every step of the week and month and year. And so your bone gets that stimulus and it responds to that stimulus. So that's where the cardiovascular or the weight bearing um, comes in. When it comes to strength training, we know that when we strength train and we use a weight, use our own body weight to load against, that we're asking our muscles to, to um, react. Our muscles react and they tighten up and in tightening up what they're doing is they're actually pulling on the bone. And so the action of the muscle pulling on the bone is another form of stimulus for that bone to decide it better shape up. And so whether you're doing it through the loading or through the muscle pull, you want to, as much as possible, target as many muscles and bones in your body so that you are staying strong throughout your skeleton. And so um, unlike medication and pharmaceuticals, which even if you have to take them or have chosen to take them, exercise is still going to benefit you. But unlike those things, exercise only has positive side effects. And so study after study shows that not only does the cardiovascular and strength training improve your bone health by um, the effects that I mentioned, but also reduces your risk for falls, um, makes you just feel so much stronger, helps your heart, um, improves your quality of life, and reduces your pain. And so um, for all of those reasons, I hope that I've clarified the importance of exercise and how exercise impacts your bone. So that's it for today on Mueller Guide. Thanks for tuning in.